Hello. So green onion cakes. Um, this is a follow on from the pickling uh, recipe, uh, recipe that I, I did. Um, these are the tops. So we've pickled the bottoms. We're going to do something with the tops now. Green onion cakes are a local delicacy here. Um, they are Northern Chinese in origin, but they really, really took off in the Edmonton area here in Alberta. Um, that was back in the 80s, and now they're ubiquitous. I mean, they are everywhere in this region, and people just love them. I'm gonna tell you now, they're a bit of a faff to make. Um, I put the recipe below. Um, you have to make a dough, and the dough is really just flour, water, and a little bit of salt. Um, and we'll go through that whole process, and then you rest the dough for a little while. Um, meanwhile, you mince these uh, onions. Don't cut them into rounds. They have to be chopped quite fine. Uh, a processor's not going to cut it. You're really going to have to do this by hand. So we will um, start by making the dough. I'm going to add um, the water here. I need 680 mils of water. Uh, I'm doubling this recipe to make 24. Sorry, 360 mils of water. That'd be very wet dough. Yeah, as boiled, right? Just right out of the kettle. And uh, we're gonna mix that up until it's just incorporated. It should be cool enough to handle at some point and then we will fix the rest by hand once we get it cooled down. So we're just going to mix that around. It's almost turning like a cornstarch. It's um, kind of looks translucent. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, kind of like wallpaper paste. And uh, yeah, so that's actually cool enough to handle now. It's very, very, very lumpy. So we'll get our hands in here. We use the wet hand, dry hand method because I'm going to add up to another 60 mil of water to bring it together into a slightly sticky dough. So it's on the board now because it came together in a kind of a rough ball. Um, I've been kneading this for probably two minutes or so. And really, I think that's good enough. That's where you want to be. Now we're going to put it back in its bowl and we're going to cover it, leave it for 30 minutes. It'll probably take me longer than that to cut all these onions, to mince them as fine as they need to be. Um, it doesn't matter. If it sits there for an hour or an hour and a half, it's not a big problem. It's not about it cooling or anything. The boiling water is just there to shock the flour and it just blooms, right? So that's the kind of texture you want. There's no fat in this dough at this stage. The recipe that I have um, got from the internet, uh, a local food writer, um, specifically states that these have to be minced and that they can't just be sliced. Um, uh, they say to slice them lengthwise and lengthwise again. Um, and then when you do chop them, They will be really quite, quite fine, especially these white parts. Um, because this dough is going to be almost rolled out like a pancake and then rolled up like a Swiss roll with these onions inside, you don't want any really big chunks. So that's just kind of the backstory on the onions. And uh, as you can see, I've got like loads and loads and loads to chop, loads. So uh, I won't bore you with that. I'll be back later. 
So it has been much longer than uh, half an hour for this dough to rest, but um, we're gonna persevere. Anyway, it is actually looking pretty nice. Um, I've divided it uh, into the number of pieces that I'm going to need for the recipe. The recipe I've included um, for you guys is uh, 12 cakes. I've doubled mine, so I need 24 pieces of this dough. And of course I just divide it in half and then four and then into eight and then each eight into three until I get 24 uh, equal pieces. Um, mine turned out to be about sort of 18 grams each. They're, they're not that big, um, but then you're going to roll it out really flat and it'll be... The, the cake will incorporate a whole bunch of onions and then be rolled out again into a thicker uh, cake and then it'll be frozen or fried. So there's one of my eights and I'll just divide that into three and that will give me my final 24 pieces. Now the idea is that you uh, don't really need any flour, but uh, a dough scraper might be handy. Um, I'm gonna roll it out pretty, pretty thick. They, it should be sticking, it should be sticking to your rolling pin. You, you don't want flour because then when you get the onions and everything in it, it'll just taste like that raw flour doughy because um, they don't cook for very long. Okay, so now you're going to need your schmaltz. and your onions and salt. You brush your smalts on, sprinkle with salt, and then we'll get to rolling these. Um, again, once you get it down to the thickness you, you want, brush it with your fat or oil. Give it a sprinkle of salt and whatever onion squeezed out of the last one can be used in that one. Unless, of course, it is the last one, like this is. So anything squeezes out of here, got to go in the garbage, right, or the compost. Now, again, um, just pulling it one side, you can pull it, this dough is very stretchy, fold it over, pull it, fold it over, pull it, fold it, and then you get nice, tight Swiss roll type action going on here. Okay, roll it until the seam, just turn it right over until the seam's on top. Like so. Um, then turn, pinch the ends and turn it in on itself like that. There you go. It's kind of like, like that. Then pinch it to seal it so that you have that nice little rosette. Scoot your leftover onions away and get your palm on it. Press it down and you have yourself a fancy pants onion cake. You don't need to grease the outside because you'll be uh, frying it in oil or fat or whatever you like you can do because they're yours. Um, again, you know, roll out, put the fat on, put a little salt, put your onions in. I don't think I put salt on that one, but roll it up, press it down, and then you can freeze these guys on parchment paper. So I've got 20. A starter portion of these would be about three. Um, I'm gonna cook four because I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> And uh, I'll be serving this with a little bit of my homemade sweet Thai chili sauce. Right, so here are the green onion cakes. Just before you uh, intend to fry these, uh, roll them out a little thinner. Uh, not too thin or anything. Um, just thin enough that it's not going to take like more than two minutes each side. 
to cook. Um, at, they will be more pastry like if you do that. You can still do them like as thick as just when you press them by your palm and freeze them, but um, they, they'll be a lot nicer if you get them crispy and thin. So I'm just going to add my oil. I'm using a camelina oil. It's a, a local oil here. I'm going to be reasonably generous with it. I've heated the frying pan up. I'm going to give it a little swirl around. Um, maybe a little more heat than that. And this uh, fierce uh, chili jelly, fierce chili jelly, uh, I made this quite a while ago. It'll be fine. It's high, high, high in sugar. It's an apple uh, jelly uh, that didn't really set. So I just threw a bunch of uh, a bunch of chilies in it and made a sweet Thai chili sauce. So we'll have that there. Oh, it's looking like this oil is nice and hot. Let's try one. Yes. That's good. So you're looking for about, like I said, two minutes each side. And turn it down a bit now. She's good and hot. So here they are, out of a very hot frying pan. They crisped up really, really nice. You can see they're quite crispy. I've got my uh, my dipping sauce here, so <laughs> they're actually super hot. I'm gonna kind of open one anyway because I'm oh, oh oh. There you go. There's the pastry. Um, behavior we're looking for. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, that is what we're looking for. Some crispy goodness, some flakes. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, dip it in a fiery chili sauce to cool it down. Really. Mm. That oil was hot. Sorry, I have to have the, um, the fan on. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I love these. These, I'm sorry, but they are better than I've had in, uh, in restaurants or markets. And only because they're so fresh. Um, you can choose the amount of salt or not that you want. Mmm. And, um, I've never had them with a dipping sauce which I really like. So, I think Papa Bear will like those when he gets home. So, 